Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Sadia Intuitive and I am here to do another general love reading for you. This is going to be a past, present, and future reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you just stumbled across this video. So we're going to see what is going on um, in your love life, what you could have experienced in the past. Um, you could be at any stage. Just could, you could be in the past stage. You could be in the present stage. You could be in the future. Timing is fluid. But we're just going to um, really go on here. And um, I'm going to use these affirmators um, cards because I wanted to start out very lighthearted. Um, see what it is that maybe you need to work on. Maybe this is something that you have worked on in the past. You're actively working on it. Um, things to consider for you in your love life. So we're going to use use these cards to just get some messages. Um, you know, they're silly cards in a way, but they they really pack a punch with the type of messages that they um, let off. So let's see for Gemini, what is happening for Gemini? Let's see what that looks like. I hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Definitely leave a comment, even if it's something as simple as a hello that helps the algorithm work and um, get the message out, and it really helps the channel move forward. So, Gemini. Oh, you all. Really? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, Gemini, so you have the car of patience. And I had to be really patient um, shuffling those cards there. Um, some of you have been very patient. You have one of the bonus cards. So some of you have been very patient in the way that um, you have gone, up, gone about things, um, about your love life. Things may have not gone as smoothly or as quickly as you have liked. And you have had to learn the lesson of patience here. Um, it, the card actually says, congratulations, you've been granted more patience. Um, you may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is a sort of an option not afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You, you're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. <laughs> so for some of you, the, the lesson of patience has been... Uh, pain in your behind really um wanting uh love to change wanting your love life to change maybe waiting for a particular person um trying to manifest things and it just not has has not like come into fruition here but you um your your message your overarching message is patience so let's see what that's all about maybe um your patience now is paid off um let's just see so what was going on in the past for gemini past for gemini please what was happening in the past for gemini gemini in love in the past you guys have have made have maybe be a little bit patient trying to get these cards to fall for you all right some of you have in the past are trying to follow your heart towards something and um, maybe that's what's caused you to have an, an abundant amount of patience because you were trying to follow your heart maybe towards a particular person, it's a particular situation. Um, Spirit was trying to really um, get you to listen to, to them to work with your guys, work with your angels. Some of you are waiting for, for a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this really was a test of your faith. So there we go, patience, that, that makes perfect sense. So you wanted this situation so bad, um, but spirit was trying to get you to focus on something. They were trying to get you to focus on your emotions, how to adequately um, control your emotions here. And learning about one patience and having faith in the divine that you were going to get what you deserve. Yet it's still, it, it wasn't easy. Um, yeah, because you kept wanting to know what was next 
here like what's gonna ha what's gonna happen here i need more information why am i not getting what i want what's going on spirit you know asking all these questions because things just weren't moving as fast as you want them to move so you just kept trying to get more and more um knowledge wanting to know you know get more answers to your question because it's just like i just don't know what's happening here i don't know what's going on so here many of you are trying we're trying to manifest um something of s some stability here you want something stable and you're trying to figure out when am i going to get that and try and you're starting out with following your heart so it's kind of like i'm following my heart um towards whatever this situation is here spirit is telling me to do one thing my emotions are telling me to do another thing i don't know what to feel what to how to feel what to do in this situation i need to know more information because i want this ten of pentacles in my life will of fortune your luck now changes right um something finally a uh, decision has been made maybe that's because you've been so patient so you get a reward for that right let's see what's going on in the present for gemini what's happening in the present energies for gemini please present for gemini some of you are in your head again because things aren't moving as swiftly as you would like here <clears throat> but the thing is you're you know you're in your head you're frustrated you're trying to figure out well why is this not working what's going on here why can't i get what i need here i'm sorry i'm trying to fix these cards i'm a virgo you know don't mind me <laughs> um things you're like in your head you're like oh my god i just feel so terrible i'm, just, I'm anxious i need to know i need to know i need to know not realizing that your patience is about to pay off here in this present present time here um you're finally getting a brand new start with with someone that is going to give you this equal give and take here um it's going to be balanced this is what you could be experiencing now this balance this here some of you are getting rewarded for the things that you've done rewarded for having um this bit of patience here and this is what's this is what's happening you're in this energy now or that whatever you were waiting for is now coming for you <clears throat> yeah after walking away from not seeing things not seeing things for the way that they were not having faith here you walked away from from this part of just not having faith in yourself not having faith in the universe um now you're being rewarded because you took the initiative to walk away from that from not seeing the bigger picture some of you have gotten to the point where you actually are now seeing why certain things were happening the, re the at the timing that it sh that you felt it should happen i only want to say the time it should happen where you felt it should happen but what you've learned is that all of this has put you now into this empress energy the empress gets what the empress wants because the empress is abundant the empress um does does things their way people respect the empress um <clears throat> the empress is in control as well you have now turned into this after all of this you have now turned into this this is where you could be in your present moment here really taking control of your life this is your reward now um you this stuff happens so that you can get here so that you can have your new beginning omg with your emperor your new beginning again male or female doesn't matter um it's just so crazy because many of you this is right in between you see the the ace of pentacles this new beginning is right between the empress and the emperor this is a divine counterpart here your patience is paying off the first word on that patience card was congratulations you had worth waiting for here so really learning what you needed to learn in your past to dictate your future here and you are now reaping those benefits let's look at what your future is looking like in love here what is your future looking like let's 
see. Brand new beginnings here. This is what your, your future is looking like. Um, that you're, you're going and taking a leap of faith and love. This is more free, open, feeling the way that you want them to feel. Some of you still aren't seeing um, this future for yourself. Again, you could be at any spot in this past, present, or future, but some of you are not seeing this in yourself um, or in you and this partner. And I say that because here we have the Seven of Swords. But the Seven of Swords could be about strategy as well. Um, but you're not seeing it in the future. You may try to look away from it, but not realizing like, no, look, you're okay. You're abundant. You have everything. Your person that you're dealing with, you could be dealing with the Earth sign. Um, here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Things are okay. Looks looks can be deceiving. Like, oh, is this really going to happen? So in the future, you may take a moment to like revert back to how you were feeling over here. Don't do that. You're this. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You're doing, you're doing what you have to do. You have everything. You can take care of yourself. But this person will be there for you as well because this is a divine counterpart here with the lovers this person chose you you chose them and this was all because you were um you practice patience this is your wish fulfillment here so in the future you're still with whatever your present energy is is going into your future energy in this divine union here that is your wish fulfillment look four of wands this is marriage here as well so for many of you that is what you're looking for there is marriage here for you and some divine counterpart that you have um manifested into your life you know why you manifested that because you were patient and that's what we started with so that is what i have don't forget to like share and subscribe and um i'll see you all again soon gemini see you